Greetings, my unique Scorpions and others. This is Soul, Intuitive Tarot for uh, Unique Souls. This is going to be a general love reading for my unique Scorpions and others for the month of August 2015. Uh, before I begin your reading, I want to thank uh, my new subscribers and thank the wonderful people who continue to follow my channel and give me support. I really appreciate it. Also, I want to uh, give a shout out to those who uh, place their trust in obtaining a reading with me. Uh, I want to thank you again so much for um, placing faith in me, basically. And I hope that the ones that I read for, that they find the guidance uh, provided by me to help them in their life. Also, I want to... Um, say that um, I'm trying my best to get these videos up to everyone um, I've been inundated with a lot of uh, requests to do readings so it's thrown me off schedule a little bit so I apologize and I thank you for your patience um, also if there is anyone out there who wishes to obtain a reading with me just please click on the um, you know the website link on my channel uh, once you go there, click on the shop now, and I offer three readings, uh, email readings for two questions. Um, questions should be clear and concise and don't need birth dates, and I don't need a lot of explicit uh, information. And I also uh, offer a half an hour and an hour readings. Uh, so enough with that. Let's begin this reading. This is a general reading. For my unique scorpions and others for the month of August 2015 general love reading. Uh, it will resonate with some of you, but it will not resonate with all of you. So let's just be clear about that. Anyway, it seems like it's some interesting stuff going on. Good and some not so good. But when I say not so good, it's not really that bad. So let me begin. The energy that I feel for you, my Scorpions, moving into um, the month of August, and I'm picking up this energy as we speak right now, uh, we have the Ace of Pentacles in the upright position, which is actually a, a pretty good card for energy. Uh, this is all about new beginnings, and since this is a uh, love focus reading, I am picking up that some of you, Scorpions, will be... Um, entering into a partnership this month or at least starting to date uh, someone this month you're going to meet a uh, male or female in the individual uh, energy that could be um, a Capricorn Virgo or Taurus um, but there is an opportunity for new love to come your way this particular month. Now, keep in mind, when I do these readings, my energy also is carried further out. So, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, I'm time stamping, but I'm sensing that the energy will carry out. And also I'm picking up past energy that some of you may have entered into a relationship with a um earth sign capricorn virgo or taurus and or dating someone or it's like a budding relationship i feel so that's a good uh card to have to start off the month and what's crossing you is the ace of wands so again um this is all about and it's in the upright position it's all about being passionate create creative uh feeling energetic and this, I associate this card with a, a very strong sexual drive for some of you. Uh, it is crossing you, and some of you individuals may be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, male or female. Um, but you're feeling very passionate going into this month of August. Um, and that's also a good sign. Uh, I think the energy, at least the stamina, is there. And it's like for some of you, you are ready to explode. In your recent past, 
or I should say your distant past, uh, going back to six months to a year, we have the world card in the upright, which is also a damn good card to have for this reading. Uh, the world card is all about, um, you know, like a, a completion. If you see the ring, it's like a circle and it's like a completion of something uh, that has either transpired uh, and this is relationship oriented. So this is giving me. Um, it's leading me to say that some of you have uh, entered into a relationship and that relationship has come, you know, like full circle uh, in a good way. So um, and I do want to go back because I don't want to miss out on anything. Now, I'm. I'm doing these readings and I, you know I, I don't want to just focus on couples this is also for singles as well who you know are you know possibly uh, looking to date someone looking to meet someone for the ones who are already establishing relationships I, I feel that some of you are with earth signs uh, Capricorn Virgo or Taurus right now and some of you are in relationships or dating uh, fire energy uh, signs of uh, Leo Sagittarius and Aries and for some of the relationships I said going back to the world card which is a very good card to have is that some of the you know you have dealt with coming to a full circle uh, within that relationship for the better not necessarily for the worse uh, that's six months to a year in your distant past uh, in your recent past which is six months um, I'm going back six months uh, we have the lovers card in reverse uh, again for some of you uh, you may have turned your back on a relationship and this individual male or female could have been uh, like a Gemini or an air sign um, either they turned their back on you or you turned your back on them and this is going back as far as six months and the future uh, position we have the King of Cups uh, in the reverse. And this is why, you know, even though it's the future position, it's next to the Lover's card that's also in reverse. This is why I mentioned that for some of you, you may have turned your back on a relationship and it could have been with a Gemini and also or air signs, Gemini, Aquarius or Libra. But this King of Cups here could be... Um, that you turned your back on uh, a water sign, you know, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancers. And some of you, if you did turn your back on a relationship or you just stopped, uh, you know, dating someone that you were dating, uh, it sort of like, you know, basically left you feeling somewhat emotionally drained. And um, some of you walked away from that. <laughs> The next card up is the two of cups so this is already telling me that the potential energy for new singles um is looking good moving into the month of uh august uh for those who've been um wanting to connect with someone the two of cups signifies that there is going to be potential energy of meeting that someone and connecting on an emotional level uh, with that person for the ones who are already coupled that mean, just means to me to pass on to you that the uh, relationship you're currently in is going to take uh, uh, a deeper level emotionally and um, that's also good to have in, a, uh, in this spread okay so the next card up is the five of swords and it's in the reverse and I'm feeling that for some of you, uh, either you've averted a uh, breakup or a disappointment within your current relationship or, you know, dating partner, and some of you are still um, dealing with this individual. So there was this card, it usually is indicative of a loss. Uh, but because it's in the reverse, it's not being fed to me to say that, it, you know, some of you dealt with that. Uh, but I, I am being fed to say that some of you avoided or averted a loss or a breakup with a relationship that you're currently in. Some of my scorpions are 
moving into the month of uh, August, we'll be feeling somewhat uh, in despair. Um, uh, you know, feeling anxious, uh, feeling like you have been um, somewhat, you know, betrayed within a partnership. Um, the overall energy is still positive for this entire read, uh, no matter that we have this card or not. But this card comes up because some individuals, my Scorpion, some some of you will be feeling like, um, you know, you're going into despair or feeling anxious about um, the relationship that you're currently in. And it's actually a lot of mental stuff going on and it's uh, stressing you out. So not that you will necessarily come to any, you know, making any de concrete decisions about breaking away. I'm just being fed to say that some of you are going to be feeling somewhat in despair. Um, you know, maybe because your dating partner or your significant other in a long-term relationship is not acting right. And I only feel this to be temporary, not something that's, you know, going to be devastating or, you know, detrimental to you. Uh, next to this, we have the, and to be in agreement with what I'm saying, we have the, um, Knight of cups in reverse. And so this is, uh, you know, water sign energy. Uh, camper, excuse me, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, and this could be you. Uh, next to this uh, Nine of Swords, uh, because it's in the reverse, some of you may be feeling that way within the relationship. Is you know, as I explained before about the Nine of Swords, you're just feeling like, um, somewhat despair, uh, anxious or worried that the relationship may or may not be going the way that you want it to, or it could be that you know you're dating someone and things aren't turning out the way that uh, you hoped for or wanted them to. But do not despair. Uh, everything is cool. And so in your future position, uh, to confirm that, we have the Ten of Wands in the uh, reverse. And that's to me, is, you know, having to not deal with a lot of oppression within uh, partnerships or relationships. So the Ten of Wands in the reverse is actually a good card uh, being in your... Uh, outcome position uh so there's a lot of uh internal struggles and battles and stuff that you've um will avoid or avert within a relationship so <clears throat> this is also pretty good so i'm feeling that the read in itself is is good energy uh, i just feel that for some of you in your uh recent past you've uh either turned your back on uh an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, or they turned their back on you, um, left you feeling somewhat emotional, uh, with the King of Cups in the reverse, um, that could also have been a water sign, uh, person that you were dealing with, male or female, um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, potential of unions coming up, for some of my uh, unique scorpions and others, uh, which is a positive thing uh, for the ones who are already coupled or, you know, have been dating. It just means that this card is emphasizing uh, things taken to the next level or, you know, things between you becoming deeper emotional, emotional wise. The five of swords, some of you just avoided or averted a, a breakup or a loss separation which is also good, uh, just potential energy for being, dis you know, feeling like you're despaired or feeling anxious or worried or just mentally stressed the hell out with the relationship that you're currently in or your, your dating partner. Uh, this is only temporary. It's not permanent. Um, to confirm that is the, the Knight of Cups. Could be a, a water sign. Again, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And it's sort of like, is you know going to leave you feeling somewhat emotional uh towards the end of the month but i don't i don't feel any uh breakups taking part with this particular read and some of you are going to get over some sort of oppression this is the end of the cycle and um 
if it was in the upright, then I would say that's what you're potentially going to deal with a lot of uh, oppression, conflicts and, and struggles and battles within yourself and from others. But it's in the reverse. So uh, it's going to be avoided. And that's a very good sign. The whispers of love card that I have selected for you is love makes the difference. And on this card, it says love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. So this card for me, um, the message that I'm getting from that is that if some of my unique Scorpios and others have dealt with a breakup in the past, this card is just saying that, you know, um, love in itself can heal those wounds um, along with time. If you give yourself some time to process whatever it is that you went through on, you know, you know, process your emotions and what the person meant to you and, and what you put into the relationship. Now, this is only for the ones who have, um, you know, been through a recent uh, breakup. Uh, this is all this card and messages telling me to say that, you know, the love, keep it there and, and just know that in time and the love for self will heal any past hurts um, in dealing with um, relationships. And two, also this, you know, if that's the case for some of you, then, you know, just recognize your self-worth that you, you are important. And uh, if the breakup did occur, that um, it was only one chapter in your life, but not the final chapter. So that's what I have for my unique Scorpions and others uh, for the month of August general love reading. Uh, like I said, it will resonate with some of you, but not all of you. Uh, I really appreciate the support that I've been getting for my channel. I thank you for visiting my channel. And until next week or next month, uh, I wish you all a very prosperous month in love. Uh, until next time. Love and light. Bye.